STS-1 was a, a piece of cake. It was white knuckle time, really. We started counting down. We get to T minus 20 minutes, and we get a hiccup. So we scrubbed and came back the next day. The liftoff was unbelievable. We have made it. In that firing room, uh, the, the jubilation of the boosters falling off and then those engines burning because we had had all kind of problems with the main engines. Those uh, space shuttle main engines performed beautifully and uh, we all went home happy and came back with our bags packed because we had to go to Edwards for landing. From the approach and landing test, we saw how fragile the tile were. Even, even with our landing on the lake bed, that uh, debris would come up and crack the tiles. And so when Columbia came over, we were deployed to mate Columbia. The tile were cracked and broken, and our guys put tape on it, thinking the tape would stay. The 747 took off. Columbia was airborne. The tape started peeling off. 747 did one loop. Now our team had left. Every one of them had gone to LA to catch a flight. I just happened to be there because I was catching a, a charter flight and we didn't even have radios to get it in. Luckily we had a set of press people and we took three radios. I had one, the operator uh, had one and we pulled the vehicle in and Columbia looked like a basket case. It was beat all to devil. And uh, the decision then was, forget about the tape, we'll just take all the tile and we'll go to Florida and we'll redo it. I'm Roy Tharp, that's my untold story from the Rocket Ranch.